He spared you this morning. It's Mother's Day, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank God for the mothers in the place, amen. Yes, yes. We thank God for his mercy of the mothers in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Social media, we welcome you in this morning. Amen. As we get ready to transition from our worship and our praise, amen. We thank God, amen. Can you just lift your hands right where you are? Whether you're in the north, the south, the east, and the west. Come on, if you just lift your hands right there and allow the Spirit of the Lord to come into where you are. Amen. Come on, let him encamp you right where you are. Come on, there is no distance in the Spirit. Come on, we your heart and soul say yes this morning. Come on, it's a yes thing this morning. Come on, all mothers, amen. You ought to pat yourself on the back and tell yourself, girl, I'm proud of you. Girl, I'm proud of you. Come on, if nobody else does, you tell yourself, I'm proud of you. Allow the God, let God refresh you this morning right where you are. Come on. Come on. If I told you what I really need from you, will your heart and soul say yes? Come on, I told him yes a long time ago. Now will your heart and soul Say yes, yes. Will your spirit still say yes? Come on, come on. Sometimes it's not an easy yes, but we have to tell it to him anyway. There is more than I require of thee. Somebody say, pull up. Yes. Come on, pull up. Woo. Will your heart and soul say yes? Come on, we get ready to transition. Come on, Toya, transition for us as Pastor Grizzly. Welcome, Pastor. Your heart and soul say yes, 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 yes. Will your spirit yes. still Jesus. say yes? Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. If I told you what I really need from you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Will your heart and soul say
Hallelujah. We give you yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 
I know this Mother's Day, we're going to have some things at the end, but I'm going to give you an opportunity, amen, at this time to do tithes and offerings and your gifts of love, amen. amen. Remember, when we do tithes and offerings gifts of love, if you do not already have the app, download it on your iPhone, your iPad, whatever it may be, amen. If you haven't already done it, we want to give you an opportunity to text 542 uh, 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 54244 54244 and put FVCC the message box and give you an opportunity on this day, amen, to get your seed into good ground, amen. amen. And the Bible declares it shall spring up and grow. Our job is to go to bed, that's it, that's go to bed and just get up. The Bible declares we don't know how things work, but God has already spoken to the seed. You're hearing me later on, and this year talking about the power. Of a seed, you would be amazed, amen, because it's engineered to reproduce after it's all kind. And later on, you're going to learn some things from me that your seed, ooh, my money is a seed. And God said it affects all facets of your life. You want to know why you got no joy? I can lay it back to your money. If you don't got no peace, I can lay it back to your money. It's a whole scripture text. Just hang in there with me. Later on, you'll be able to see all that. Amen. So God bless you. Amen. So thank you once again. Amen. If you already saw it, amen, we'll thank God for you for sowing your tithes and offering and your gifts of love. It leaves my hand, but never leaves my life. Because when I sow in the good ground, I always have the justifiable right to put a demand on my tithes and offering and gifts of love. So it's a part of my life. Amen. And so you never get rid of it. Remember the story in Hezekiah? And, uh, uh, God, the angel came to us and get your house in order. You're going to die. <laughs> well, you can't get no more no, no more words than that when the amen. Hezekiah began to petition back to God. He said, now look, God, I've lived right. As a matter of fact, I got some seed in the ground. Whoa. Mm -hmm. If your seed didn't have value, didn't have value with God, what is he talking about? Oh. Mm -hmm. The Bible said he granted him an additional 15 years. Amen. Mm -hmm. So right. thank God for it. Amen. So it does work. Amen. So once again, thank you. Amen. Uh, for your tithes and offer gifts of love. Amen. Now, listen. Are y'all ready for the word? Amen. Yeah. All right. All right. Come on. Listen. Put your hands together. Amen. As we welcome our very own pastor. The message brings the amen. Bring the for today's Mother Day message. Amen. I tried to steal it last yesterday, but she wouldn't let me. She said, no, I got this thing. So praise be to God. She's got it. Amen. I've never taught on Mother's Day. Maybe one year she will give me an opportunity. Amen. But she does so much very well. Amen. So give her a hand as she comes. Amen. 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 I don't have an ex, so if I move, y'all know I'm here. Y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me. But you there, they're here. So, amen, I'm going to say good morning, amen. Mm -hmm. It is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. I want to wish my very mm -hmm. own mothers, amen, Margaret Graham and Norma Grimson, a happy Mother's Day. Amen. 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 I am thankful to still have them and my spiritual mama, Janice Taylor. Still good, great for to have them in my life. Amen. So, I know some mothers are not here today, but amen. But God also will give you, amen, somebody to help you along the way. Amen. amen. He'll send somebody like a mother to you to help you along the way. Not try to fill the void. Not try to fill her place. Place, but he'll send somebody. Amen. 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 So I'm thankful, amen, that I still have the opportunity to have my mom this morning. Mm -hmm. And amen. I'm so grateful for all of you being here this morning. You could have been anywhere else, but you chose to come here. Amen. 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 Right here at Faith Victor Christian Center. Amen. Again, thank you. And thank you. Thank you to Miss Toya Jackson. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. She she pulled me out, y'all. She helped me. She helped me. <laughs> Amen. Pastor, I'm going to stop this from turning for me. It keep flipping on me. So, I'm still learning it. Thank you, sir. But amen. But uh, it's good to have you guys in the house this morning. And then, amen. Again, Pastor Grimsley tried to steal it. He was like, baby, let me teach. Let me teach. I ain't never taught on Mother's Day. I said, why would you want to teach? You ain't a mother. You can't say what I can say. You don't have any experience. Bible. But, but, about Bible. but I did have church. You ain't had no church. <laughs> you ain't incubated nothing. Amen, but a vision. Amen, and they're here. Amen. <laughs> you have a vision, you help me. So amen, and they're here. So amen. But we thank God for you this morning. Amen. I got a word from the Lord for us. Amen. Not for you, but for us. Because amen, the word is for me too. Amen. amen. It's for me. Thank you, sir. It's for me too. So I got a word for us. We're going to jump right into it. We've already prayed this morning. And so we're going to jump, jump into it. So the, the topic this morning is the impact, the strength, and the faith of a mother. 
Amen. Amen. Ooh, the impact, the strength, and the faith of a mother. Amen. If y'all, if y'all mothers will help me this morning, we'll get through this teacher real fast. <laughs> We're gonna get through it real fast. Amen. So this morning, you know, I just want to kind of encourage you in this morning. Uh, one of the stories we're gonna talk about is Job Bed. We're gonna talk about Naomi. Amen. We're gonna talk a little bit about Timothy. Amen. Because uh, Job Bed was a mother. Naomi was a mother. But Timothy was a son. So we're going to talk about it from all aspects. So, you know, in uh, this morning, uh, my example that I'm going to kind of try to ride off of is being a coach. Somebody say coach. 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 Mm. I was laying there and I was thinking, and y'all, uh, if anybody know me, I love football. Mm -hmm. Love football. I be, uh, all the other seasons, I, I ain't hating on y'all. But I don't care about no basketball. I don't care about no soccer. But when it's football season, I'm ready. I want to throw football. For, I'm ready. I love basketball. I mean football. And so while I was studying my lesson, it came to me. He said, it's just like, you know what? You're a coach. Hmm. You're a coach. Hmm. And I said, well, if I'm a coach, then every team has to have a manager. Hmm. He said, and that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, Lord. Well, okay. But as mothers, we, have to, we look at it ourselves as coaches because even though God is the manager, the manager trusts us with the team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He trusts us with the team. But anybody that watched football, he trusted the manager that owns the team trusts the coach. That's why he had it. That's why he hired it. Mm -hmm. Because he feels like he can coach his team to victory. Mm -hmm. To a Super Bowl. Every team want to get to a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. But as mothers, we want to see our children succeed. Amen. Amen. We want to see them live out the best life that they can live out. Not just for us, but for our children and our children's children. Amen? Amen. 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 So this morning when we talk about, about, Naomi, about Naomi, the impact that Naomi had on Ruth was amazing. Mm -hmm. Because some of you that have read the story about Naomi and Ruth, mm -hmm. it is an amazing relationship. Mm -hmm. When I say your amazing relationship, it's because even though Ruth had a mama, it was something about Naomi she clinged to. Mm -hmm. It was about something that Naomi, about, about, about Naomi that she clinged to. So <clears throat> when we look at Naomi in the book of Ruth, and that's going to come out of Ruth 1 and 16. You go back and you read the lesson. And it talks about how Naomi and Ruth got together. Because Naomi had a husband. And they had two sons. And they had the, the two sons married these women. But however, everybody was left the widow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But because of the life that Naomi lived. Come on, we're talking about impact. Because the life that Naomi lived. Ruth was interested because she watched her as a married woman. She watched her as a widow. And she, she was like, oh, you know what? I like this. This is going somewhere. But when you're with somebody and they have this big impact on your life, I don't care who it is. You got to give them props. Mm -hmm. You got to give them props. And anytime you can't give them props, then you ought to ask yourself, what is that hindering me from giving somebody props? Mm -hmm. You can't let the big J word slip in mm -hmm. because it'll keep you from doing that. Jealousy will keep you from giving somebody problems. Yep. Now, you don't want that green out, monster. Because I we, we talked about that the other day. And it, it comes with relatives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it comes with a whole bunch of relatives. So, if you don't shake her off first, she comes, hey, y'all, come on. She likes to entertain us. Come on. Mm -hmm. But when Naomi and Ruth was together, when their sons died, hmm, this is something off. Naomi told Ruth and the other daughter-in-law, hey, I'm going to bless y'all, but y'all go back and be with your mama. Y'all can leave me because I don't have anything else. She says, I don't have anything else to give you. Mm -hmm. I'm old. Ain't nothing coming else out of my womb. I, can't, I don't have any more sons to give you. So I bless you and you go back to your mom's. Mm -hmm. The other daughter-in-law was like, okay, I'm out my feet. Go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ruth said, no. Entreat me to stay with you. Mm -hmm. Come on. I want your people to be my people. Because the way I've watched you live, the way I saw you treat your husband, the way I saw you live after your husband, the way I saw you serve, because she had to see her serve God. She had to see her worshiping. She had to see her praying. She had to see her doing the things of God because why else would she be impactful to stay? Mm -hmm. Because she knew what Ruth was doing was getting, getting her, no, Naomi was doing was getting her through what she was going through. She said, please allow me to stay with you. I, 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 you know, I, I, you know, I got a mama, nothing against other mamas. You know, hats off to you. But when she found out that Naomi was living a life of impact, because impact her life, she says, let me follow you. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Allow my people to be your people. Allow your God to be my God. Because the God that you serve is omnipotent. Come on, he's all powerful. Come on, he's provider. Mm -hmm. Come on, he's Yahweh. Come on, he's Elohim. Mm -hmm. Come on, I want him to be my God too. Amen. Come on, somebody shout, make an impact. Make, make an impact. impact. Come on, we as, we as mothers want to make impact on our children. We want to make impact. Good morning, Jamel. Good morning, Alicia Frazier. Good morning, Diane Reed. Good morning. We want to make impact not only on our children, but other children's. Right. Come on. I, I look at when my daughter was in college. Uh, she would say, Mom, I'm, I'm coming home. And I'm like, okay, I always knew it wasn't just her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when she says, you know, Mom, I'm coming home. I'm thinking, how many this time? <laughs> so I would tell her dad, you know, Marissa's coming home. And he was like, how many? And I'm like, well, I'll find out. It was never just her. Because... The life, even though she wasn't a mother, they always wanted to follow her to us. Amen. Because I believe I made an impact on their lives. Amen. And every time I would go to Mobile, I'd be like, man, you're going to hang out. Next thing I know, ding dong. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, it not one, but two, then three. And they'd be like, hey, mom. And I'm like, I thought we were just me and you. <laughs> but when you make an impact on somebody's life, they want they, they gravitate toward you. And so as mothers, we want to make an impact on our children because we want them to gravitate toward us and not from us. Mm -hmm. Ooh, because what we have, because we were the incubation and we carried and there's something that we can give them. Mm -hmm. My Lord. And so with that being an impact, God has granted me many. He has granted me many children. Amen. I got one sitting right here now. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. She she gravitated towards life almost what, eight years ago. Yeah. Lord, in that mm -hmm. she was she twenty. She was a little bit of something when she came, <laughs> and we 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 just can't shake her. She's still here. <laughs> so it's like you know, it's like a Naomi on a roof. Mm -hmm. So, but when you make an impact, mothers, we make an impact. Even 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 as little as Junie, mm -hmm. Toya has to make an impact on her life. Yeah. Because whether you believe it or not, children would know. Children yeah. know. That's why you sit them down there. Well, they know their mama. They, they know their mama. When a mama has, you know, carried them and spent time with them, but come on, it's something on the inside of you that they smell that's different from other people. Amen. Ooh, that's my good. Lord Jesus. Come on. Now we talk about Jock Bed. This is one of my favorite stories, Jock Bed, because we talk about Jock Bed is Moses' mom. Mm. Everybody know Moses. Everybody know what Moses did. Everybody, but don't buy, nobody holler ever talk about job bed. Mm. Because let me tell you something. When you were mama, you go to any links to make sure your children protected. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> job bed's courageous love and strength. Come on. She had a courageous love and strength. So this is, let me give you the moral of the story, the background of the story. is when uh, job bed got pregnant. And y'all know the Pharaoh had a rule out. All the boys going to be killed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the boys are going to die. Mm -hmm. So what happened, Jobbed gave birth to Moses and hid Moses. Somebody said three months. Three, three months. months. Three months. Come on, it's something about a three. It's something about a three. When he, she hid Jobbed, she hid Moses. Jobbed hid him for three months, but she said, you know what? But I got to release him because the rule says that I can't have a baby. That's a boy. So I got to follow the rule. So somewhere in there, something rose up on the inside of Jock Bed and said, if you trust me, if you release him, I'll return him. Amen. 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 Come on. That's right next to the day. Mm -hmm. Some of us hold on to our children and we won't let go of the umbilical cord mm -hmm. because we're scared and we're fearful. And God says, let them go. Mm -hmm. You're a coach. Mm -hmm. Come on. You're not their master. You got to mm -hmm. trust the process. Amen. You got to release them and believe that they're going to return. Amen. So Jobbed believed that if she released Moses, that he will return. Mm -hmm. But look how God moved on her behalf because I believe that Jobbed was an intercessor. She interceded and she was like, God, if I release my son, I got to believe that you're going to return him back. Because what you said to me, when you said, well, I can receive when I pray, I receive when I pray. So your promises is that if I live according to your word, yes. that I shall believe and receive what I pray for. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody say the return. The, the return. return. 
Jock Bear put that boy in a in a, a basket that she had created out of some straw. Mm -hmm. Put that bad boy in there and she was like, I know, you know how, how people would say, girl, if I were you, I wouldn't do it. I just keep on hiding. I just keep on hiding if I were you. I believe Jock Bear said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I gotta obey God, cause a lot of times we have to obey. We we got no, not sometimes. All the time we gotta obey God in a not knowing fact. Right, that's true. We gotta obey, not knowing, just believing that He is mm -hmm. and that He's gonna do what He said He's gonna do. Mm -hmm. So John Bear said, "This is what I wanna do. I don't care about the naysayers. You believe what you believe, but I got to, I got to release my son from the return back." Mm -hmm. She put that bad boy in a basket, put him down the river. She told her daughter, "Watch him, Miriam, watch him." And see where he goes. Mm. Miriam was standing at the water watching him. Guess what? Pharaoh's daughter got him. Mm -hmm. Picked him up. Looked at him. Oh! God has blessed me with a boy. Mm -mm. That's why you got to know your blessings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to know when God sends it. And when the enemy does. Mm -hmm. Come on. Or if it's a fake until the real thing come along. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mamas, you got to tap in because you got to learn how to intercede. You got to learn how to have the spirit. Come on. Come on. You got to have the spirit of knowing inside of you to know when to hold them, when to fold them, when to walk away, and when to run. Come on. Because sometimes as mothers, we talk too much. Huh. Ooh, that hurt right there. <laughs> we talk too much and we override what God has to tell us. So if John had kept on talking, she would have overrode what the Lord had told her to do. Mm -hmm. But since she did, Miriam got Miriam saw when Pharaoh's daughter got Moses. But what happened was, come on, God had in his finite self, with his awesome self, come on. Pharaoh's daughter said, I can't feed him. I ain't got nothing to feed him with. Mm -hmm. I want it, but I ain't got, I ain't got nothing to feed with it. Come here, girl. Take this baby to Jock Bed. Mm -hmm. And let Jock Bed feed this baby. Not knowing that it was Moses, Jock Bed's son. Mm -hmm. All the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. Take him back. Come on. Somebody said release to return. Release, release to, to return. return. Come on. Take him back and let her feed him. And in the meantime, Jock Bed began to minister to Moses. And Moses rose up to be a great leader. Come on. Somebody got to say courageous love. You got to have a courageous love for your children to know when to leave, when to release them, and, and let them go. It's hard. Y'all, let me talk to y'all because right now I feel like I'm, I'm stuck. It's hard when you want to cut that biblical cord and you see the call that's on the line and you're scared of what the world may be doing to them. He said, you got to trust me enough to release them so they'll return. That's why he tells us to raise up our children in the way they should go. Mm -hmm. Come on. To raise them up in the way they should go. So we shouldn't have fear when it's time to release. Amen. Because we know that God being God all by himself, he's going to cover them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, woo. It says, now a man of the tribe of Levite, married a Levite woman. Y'all do have scripture here. And she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. We already talked about it. And when she saw that he was a fine child, this is what we already talked about. She released him. Mm. She released him. She released him. Come on. So his sister saw when Pharaoh was already got him. But when we're talking about hide our children, not as so much hide them, but protect them. Amen. Protect our children. We got to trust God. And place we gotta trust God with placing our children in God's hand because what we talk about as being a coach, He didn't give them to us, He loaned them to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He just saw fit enough for us to be good coaches mm -hmm. in order to coach them through this thing called life. Mm -hmm. Come on. And sometimes when you give the play, they're gonna fumble and drop the ball. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. You snap and get back in position and do it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, you keep on doing it till it works. You keep on doing it till it works. Yeah, you keep on doing it till it works. So when she raised Moses, Moses rose up to be a great leader. A great leader. And that's what we're doing. We're trying to raise up our children to be great leaders, to be asset, not in only in the world, but assets to the kingdom of God. Amen. Because, come on, we want the kingdom of God to be enhanced. That's why he trusted us with the children so we can release them. Come on, and for them to be part of the kingdom. Amen. 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 Come on. We want to raise kingdom-minded children. Amen. Kingdom-minded children. So when we talk about Timothy, Timothy had a grandmama and a mama. His mother was Lois. His grandmother was Eunice. This is 2 Timothy 1 and 5. Come on. 
and they was believing, there was a believing mama and a grandmama, and they taught, and they was comforters. Come on, Isaiah 66 6 and 13 says they were caretakers. Come on, Proverbs 31, 27. And they trusted God's plan for the life. Come on. We need moms of all aspects. We need jock beds. We need Lois's. We need Eunice's. Come on. Amen. We need Carlos. We need Toya's. Come on. We need Amen. Margaret's. Amen. Come on. Right. We need Vanessa's. We need good mothers that are say, I'm going to stand flat foot and I'm going to give you the word whether you like it or not. Amen. That means, hey, don't look at me. Yeah, I got to get my life together too. But we're going to do this thing together. Somebody say together. 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 It's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. This is what you got to do, mothers. You can't allow the enemy to beat you up about your past. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. I want every mama in here to turn around and look back. Tell me what you see. That's why he said, don't worry about the, what's back there. Amen. Ain't nothing you can do back there. You ain't got arms back there. Mm -hmm. He said, don't worry about what's back there. You got to worry about what's going on right now. Amen. Worry about what's going on right now. Amen. You say, hey, forgive me. It was when me and my husband decided to give our life to the Lord. You know, and... Uh, my husband said, you know, he apologized. Hey, we weren't living the best life we were supposed to live. So as of now, we made a about face. So this is the life that we're going to live. Amen. So I apologize for what you saw, but this is now. Amen. This is now. So because children will try to hold it over your head. Mm -hmm. They will try to hold it every day. You can't do that because I've been born again. Mm -hmm. I've been delivered. Amen. I've been set free. Amen. So, and you know, the sun set free is what? Free Amen. indeed. So, hey, we're going to do this thing together. We're going to do it right. Amen? Amen. 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 So, mothers teach by example. Mothers teach by example. A mother can set the tone in the atmosphere of their home. Come on, coach. Come on. Come on. You set the atmosphere and the tone in your house. When your husband walk in, what do they walk into? If you ain't got a husband, when your children walk in, what do they walk into? You set the atmosphere in your house. You are the thermostat. You set how it's going to go. Whether it's going to be good or bad, it's going to go. When my husband released me from working, I said, you know what? I can lay here in this bed all day long, keep this bonnet on my head, and just be good. But then the Lord said, get your end up. Your husband don't want to see you the way he left you. I got my little in up, and I was talking to my friend on phone. She said, girl, what you doing? I said, girl, getting a bad brush my teeth, doing my hair. She said, you ain't going nowhere, I'm, but my husband come home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't want him to find me the way he left me. Mm -hmm. Amen? So when he come home, it's like, hey, honey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Make him glad that he came home. Right. Come on, you want your children glad that they came home. Amen. Come on. My children know what they, look, this one in here with us today, first day she do coming out. Boom, what's the door open? Wherever I'm at, bathroom, tub, bedroom. Watch it, what my snack? <laughs> hey, mama, what my snack? It was like, I mean, you want them glad that they come home. Come on. You don't never want your children to say, when I leave, I ain't never coming back. Right. Mm. Come on, mamas, you set the tone. You set the atmosphere. Amen. You got to lead by example. Mm. By example. Come on. The home, come on, is, uh, is the home negative and critical or loving and forgiving? Amen. Come on, if somebody poll your children right now, what would they say? Because mm -hmm. you know what, children tell the truth. They mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. the truth. They tell the truth. You be like, girl, uh, 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 uh. Y'all, I tell a funny story. <laughs> we was in uh, California and we was part of a, I was part of a women's group. I know. We was part of a women's group and we were all gathered. Like, was it Saturday morning we were gathered? I think it's Saturday morning. We were all gathered at nine o'clock, and we would come and have like a book, book, uh, uh, book uh, club, and you know, just sit around and socialize and have coffee. In this <laughs> lady brought her son, which I bet she won't never ever do. He's grown man. She brought him, and he came in, and he was always he's known as always fidgeting, moving, you know. So we're in, you know, sitting around the circle, and we talking. He just walking around, walking around, walking around. He walking all behind the chairs. And, and she was like, sit down. And he just said, and he came back. He's like, Mama, she ain't, she ain't got two mouths. Oh. Well, no, two faces. That's what it was. Oh. She ain't got two faces. And we all looked like, and she was like, hush. Oh. <laughs> so you have to be careful about the conversation 
you have around your children. Because they're going to tell on you. And what it was at the end, she had been talking about the lady said she was too fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then she had to get it right. Because the lady eventually figured out she was talking about her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the thing about it is, you got to be careful about the conversations you have around your children. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't ever be somebody that tear down somebody around mm -hmm. your children. You always want to either say nothing or build them up. Amen. That's right. That's right. Or build them up. Mother te mothers teach by their attitude, whether it's positive or negative. Come on. Mm -hmm. Positive or negative. A child knows when you're having a bad day, you ain't got to say nothing. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to say nothing. My one, she just go in there. She just, she come in. She just, okay. She go in there, sit down, and she come back. And be like, Can I come in here? Yeah, but you're going to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. It's a way that we can say things to children. They get it. You ain't got to holler. You ain't got to scream. They mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I can say the same thing you say, but I can say it calmly. You say it screaming. They're going to tune you out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Words got power. Mm -hmm. That's true. Words got power. Come on. Words got power. So they we teach by how we speak to, to our children and husband by how they treat others. Mm -hmm. How they see you treat your spouse. Mm -hmm. Mm. Come on, because you raising children, your daughter's gonna do her husband like she see you do yours, mm -hmm. and your son is gonna do his wife like he see you do yours. Mm -hmm. So what are we teaching? What are we teaching? What are we teaching? What are we teaching? Come on, mothers, we're here to make an impact. We're here to make an impact. We're here to make an impact. Mothers also teach how they speak about others. Mothers teach the role of work. Come on, if you a lazy mama, you're going to have lazy children. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, you're going to have lazy children. You can say, oh, that's a generation that ain't going to work yesterday because that's all you get away with. Right. They saw you be manipulative. They, they saw you be complaining. So they can do the same thing. Oh, I don't want to do this. This man, I'm like, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Come on, mamas. Mm -hmm. Come on, mamas. Mothers have an important role in teaching their children value. Amen. Value. 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 I can speak about mine because we I have. I always taught her to love her first. Larissa was was can I share your story? Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> but uh <laughs> Narissa was Narissa was coming, Narissa was chunky. Yes, I was. Cute chunky, and cute. chunky and cute, too chunky. But I always made her feel like she had high self-esteem. Yes, I, I always raised her to always love her no matter what size she was, no matter what she looked like, no matter who her friends was, so she wouldn't be jealous if she had skinny from you. Right. Amen. 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 Uh, all right, now, now, now the congregation talking behind. All right. <laughs> but uh, however, I taught her to have value. Her daddy taught her not to never lower her standards for nobody. Amen. Her daddy was her date. Her daddy dated her. Her daddy brought her flowers. Her, he would bring me some. He would bring her some. I was like, why this little girl getting flowers? He said, because that's that's my baby. Now this is how I want her to be treated when she grow up. Amen. He always made sure she had money. So when she went, this guy tried to date her. He take her to the take her to the movies. He was offended because Larissa wouldn't let him pay for the ticket. She said, no, my daddy told me not to let you pay for nothing because I ain't giving nothing. Come on, you got to have enough value, women, about yourself to know who you are. I don't care how many children you have. You got to have some value about yourself so you can teach your children value. Come on, you got to teach your children. You don't have to settle for anything. You don't have to settle for less. You got to know that you are not a clearance piece of material. That come on, that you are the original. You are pay the original piece of Not that clearance price. I am not a percentage. I am the whole thing. Come on, you got to know who you are. Come on. And you got to teach your children the same thing. You ain't got to accept that. Come on. I want to be loved. Jesus says, I am love. I am the truth. I'm the way and the life. You teach them that. You teach them that God is all. Come on. You teach them that God is everything. When God, when God is number one. When man come along, God still first, he said. Come on. You got to teach them that. But if they see you ain't got nothing, no value. They ain't going to have no bad you, you can't expect for them to think they are uh, uh, original brain when you're a knockoff. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on, somebody. Right. Come on. Michael Kors can't teach uh, 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 Louis Vuitton how to be. Okay. They're two different brand names. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. If my daughter was saw me with any and everybody, I would lie about it, she'd be like, well, shoot, I do. Mm -hmm. You got away with it? Mm -hmm. The devil lives a lie. Mm -hmm. The Amen. devil lives a lie. Amen. It stopped today. Amen. Yeah. You Amen. tell yourself, I am better than that. I am better than that. I am not a knockoff. I am the original. And when you get me, you got something. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Children and all. You got something. Yes, you do. Amen. Come on. That's why when they come, you'll be like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm good. That's why when uh they would tell Larissa, ooh, you they would call her bougie, they would call her stuck up, they would call her yeah. because she knew what type of person she born in her life. Mm -hmm. She knew. When she was in high school, she knew she was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. even though her daddy would let her date since she was a senior, but you know, she knew. That's right. So when he finally brought, when she finally brought him along, uh, he had to go through the whole spiel. He had to come sit down with him. He had to meet him. He had to be, he had to be scared and everything. Brought his dad and his mom. Uh, he, he was like, bring whoever you want to bring. When I, this is my daughter, and I know the value she had, and I'm not gonna let you deplete it. Amen. Amen. So he told him and his daddy, said, look, if she, if he say anything negative or sideways or cuss, I'm coming to fire you. I don't do it to her, and you ain't going to do it to her. Amen. And that's what you got to tell yourself. I don't do it to me, and you ain't going to do it to me. Because you are bad. You tell yourself, I'm bad. I am bad. I am worth something. I am worth something. I don't care how many children you had. God trusted you to be a coach over, and you are bad. Amen. You are bad. Amen. Yes, motherhood is a life giver. These are my closing moments. Motherhood is a life giver. Come on. You are an incubator. Somebody lay your hands and says, I'm an incubator. I'm an incubator. I'm an incubator. Motherhood dominion role is that she right. is a life giver, but the women's dominion role of life giving is not limited. Come on, somebody. Yes. To delivering a human child. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. The woman is an incubator because her very nature reflects our inclination to develop and give life to things. That's Amen. right. Amen. Y'all, he didn't say we were just baby givers. But we are incubated for things. Somebody say things. things. Come on, we give birth to new ways of doing things. Right. We give birth to creative ideas and we right. inventions. Yeah. Come on, we give birth to new ways of loving. Come we on, give birth. To, come on, we give birth to some things. Right. Come on, right. we just not child giving, but we give other Amen. stuff. We give love. We give compassion. Come on, we give courtesy. Come on, we give all these things. Mm -hmm. We give all these things. Mm -hmm. So her incubation ability permits all. Areas mm -hmm. of her life. She has a physical wound, an emotional wound, a mental and an instinctional wound. Means she's got instincts. Come on. Some things you can't give. I have numerous used to think I had eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> because before she did it, I would tell her. Mm -hmm. I said, no, it's the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You have instincts. You're born with instincts. You know when your children, you know when your children are off. Mm -hmm. You know when your children are sad. You know when your children are happy. You know when your children are ill. Mm -hmm. Come on. The motherly instinct. Mm -hmm. Motherly instinct. Come on. We like the lions of the jungle. Let something right. happen. We're going to snatch you up. Right. Come on. Going to snatch you up. Yeah. I done did some things as a coach. As a lioness coach. Mm -hmm. Amen. That I knew if it hadn't been for the Holy Ghost, I probably would have been out. Wiped out of here. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you something. When the enemy grab hold of your children, you go to whatever links to get them back. Amen. That's right. Amen. Right, Come on, right. you go to whatever leaks to get them back. Yeah, I went and I, I bailed on the door like I was five old. Come up mm -hmm. out of here. Mm -hmm. Come up out of here. Mm -hmm. Come on. We have all parts, but the spiritual room, these are given. Physical wound, emotional wound, and mental and instinctual wounds. But spiritual wound is something you got to ask for. Mm -hmm. Come on. That means you got to give your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that your spirit could come alive and you can hear the things of God. Come on, we need to have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying about our children. Amen. Come on. A woman incubates in these main ways. I took mother and I broke it down. M, she's motivational. Mm -hmm. She sees possibilities and potential. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. She sees it in every one of her children. She's optimi she optimistic. She's hopeful. Mm -hmm. She protects what she has received while it develops. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. She protects what she's received while it's developing. Come on, you got to know when your child is in developing stages right. and how to handle them. Mm -hmm. Come on, that's where wisdom comes from. Mm -hmm. We are women of wisdom. We are women of power. We are mm -hmm. women. Come on, we got to know what to tap into. We got to mm -hmm. know when to lay hands. We got to know when to speak into. Mm -hmm. Come on, I know right now the toy is speaking into Judy. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Come on. She already knows when you start saying a song. I mean, she was here the other day. I had a moment. We just sang. She just went right on sleep. Mm-hmm. Music is soothing. Mm-hmm. It's soothing. So you got to know how to soothe your children. That's it. I have two. They 40, 30. And then I have God given. 37. Mm-hmm. And I know how to handle each one. Each one of them is handled different. Nobody is handled the same. Somebody said, not the same. Not, not the same. same. And that's why mothers make mistakes at some time. We want to treat that one like that one, then it's different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's different. You got to know the difference in your children. Amen. 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 You got to know the difference. So T is talented. She develops ideas, mm-hmm. plans, programs. Come on. She multiplies what she's given. Come on. Amen. Women, we know how to do things that men can never imagine. <laughs> Come on. We know how to, how they have to use the same, make a dime out of 15 cent judgment. We can do it. Come on. We can take one piece of bread and feed the whole family. Amen. Come on. We can take one shirt and cover everybody. Amen. Come on. I've done it. I've done it. We were living paycheck to paycheck. And I said, Lord, now you got to show me how to stretch this because at this time, it's three and a half of us. Because Nerissa was a little girl, so you're going to have to show me how to do this. He gave me witty ideas and creative inventions how to do Uda Nubas and Tuna Fish. Mm-hmm. Come on. You laughing, but every night they were fed. Amen. They were fed, and they were missing nothing or wanting anything. Mm-hmm. Come on. We know how to make it work. Come on. He said in Proverbs, come on, that you are a virtuous woman. woman. Come on. You know how to use your hands. You know how to use your mind. You know how to get out there and come on That's and right. hustle and get what you need the right way. Amen. Come on, my God, Savior. Amen. Come on. She's a helper and a healer. Mm-hmm. That's true. Come on. She's a helper and a healer. Sometimes when, when I was when I was going through my illness, my husband, I told my husband, I said, I just want my mama. Mm-hmm. Even though he was doing all that he could do. And I wasn't taking nothing from him. It was about laying in my mama's arms. Mm-hmm. As soon as she got there, it was like it was like I feel better. Mm-hmm. Because you know moms bring healing. They bring hope. Mm-hmm. They are helping to your situation. Mm-hmm. Come Amen. on. And for those that don't have them still here on the earth, God didn't leave you motherless. Yes. Mm-hmm. He Amen. did not leave you motherless. He put somebody in your life. You're like, oh, this is a divine intervention. I am sorry for you. Divine intervention. Mm-hmm. Divine intervention. Because he knows what you need when you need it. Yes. He knows what you're lacking of. He says, I will not let you be on this earth and go lacking. Right. Come on. Mm-hmm. He won't let you do that. He won't let you do that. She enlightens. She makes sure of having knowledge and understanding. She processes words, ideas, needs, and problems. Mm-hmm. Come on. She's a problem solver. Yes, Come on. She's a mind right, related right. to those right. who mind you out there. You got to bring it back in. Mm-hmm. Come on. She's help. Come on. She's all that. Mother plays so many parts. Not just a coach, but she plays so many Parts in this world because the thing about it is he entrusted us, so he had to give it to us. Come on, somebody say it's on the inside of you. It's on the inside. Come on, when he created you, mother was already on the inside of you. Mother, uh, pastor, pastor, teach that when he taught, when he gave birth, bird fly was already in the bird. Come on, swim was already in a fish, and mother, mother instincts were already in a mother when she gave birth. Soon as she gave birth, mother instincts came in. People say I need to read a book. Okay, but you, you go okay, I read a book, read a book. I did. I started out with a book because I, my children is 10 years apart. And I was like, good Lord, this is all I know. So I picked up a little book. I said, oh, this little girl ain't doing nothing about this. what's in this book. I said, that's crazy. I was like, this ain't happening. I don't know what, I don't know what. And this, a friend of mine says, God going to give you the know-how. Mm-hmm. It's on the inside of you. Because mm-hmm. no mother is the same. Mm-hmm. No mother is the same. Come on, because the children are not the same. Mm-hmm. And the last one is R. She's rare. She's remarkable. And oftentimes she needs rest. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes she needs rest. Mm-hmm. So when you got a good mommy, you got to know how to tap into and be like, hey, girl, you know, you got to put that smooth voice on. Let me take some off your plate. Go in there and get a bath and lay down and rest. Children, cook dinners for your mama and be like, hey, let me take you out on a date. I told my daughter, y'all going to date me. It once a week. Yeah. They yeah, laugh about it. Yeah. It, it wasn't an ask. It was a message. It was a fact. Y'all want to date me. Y'all take me somewhere every once a week. I don't care when it is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But they chose what day y'all chose? Thursday? Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. 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 So you raise them up in the way they should go. 
Okay. Come on. You raise them up in the way they should go. They got good jobs. So I know they can take care of me. What if I order off the menu? Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm adding to them. I'm adding to them. She don't even know, but I'm adding to them. And y'all, I got children, children, children. And I am so appreciative. Can y'all let me preach my message in the, in the audience? Y'all, the audience done took over on social media. Yeah, come on to it. Add to it. Add to it. Rare. Remarkable. And often need rest. Please know when your mom, mother, wife need rest. Mm -hmm. They're the coach. And coaches get tired. Mm -hmm. That's why the assistant coach has to step up mm -hmm. and be like, hey, let me call and play. And that you go take a rest. Mm -hmm. Let you take a respite. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. 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 I want to put together something every year for mothers. And I'm going to change up Mother's Day a little bit. I want to cruise with my mothers. Mm. I mean, I want to cruise with my mothers. I want to do a Mother's Day on the cruise. So, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I've, I've lost the, the congregation, y'all. I've lost the congregation. So, we have celebrating our mothers. Amen. Amen. We celebrate our mothers. Amen. And we're so thankful for the mothers. You know, And I hope this word today has encouraged you has blessed you, Amen. has given you a new look on, on how to love on your mother and, how, you know, cherish your mom, cherish your wife. You know, children, do your part. Mm -hmm. Do your part. Amen. It wasn't out of hollering or who because I didn't want that. I want you to hear. I want you to hear because you are somebody, you're valuable. Come on. I want you to make an impact. I want you to use your faith. I want you to use your words. Yes. So we celebrate you mothers this day. Amen. We celebrate you right. wherever right. you are. Happy Mother's Day to those that are yes. on social media. We acknowledge your strength and your faith. Come on. I acknowledge the impact yes. and your spiritual move that you're making. Now, not only for you, but for your family. Right. Come on. I encourage you today to keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Don't let the enemy tell you you ain't doing it. You got this. You got this. Yes. You got this. That's right. It may not be looking like you want it to look right now, but you tell yourself, you got this. Mm -hmm. Come on. God trusted you to be a coach, so he knew you could handle it. That's right. That's right. He don't give us anything that he know we can't handle. Mm -hmm. And when we got stuff, he'll either get in it or take us out of it. Mm -hmm. That's the great God that he is, because he is our shepherd, and we shall not want. So you make a decision today. Hey, I'm going to be a great mom. I got an M on my chest. Because he trusted me to be a coach. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to coach my family right on the victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right on the victory. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. So I thank God for you this morning. I thank God for you. Amen. We're going to sign off here. But we're going to finish here. Amen. For all mothers on here this morning, I thank God for you. I thank God for you. And I pray the blessings of the Lord upon you. Yeah. Yeah. The blessings of the Lord upon you this morning. Yes, you got this, daughter. I pray the blessings of the Lord upon you. And know that God is your strength. Yes. And whatever you need, you can get it from him. I don't care where you've been. It's about where you're going. It's about where you're going. So we love you this morning. But we're going to sign off here because we have ministry here. Amen. And I don't believe in putting ministry online. Amen. Amen. So I love you this morning with the love of the Lord. Did you want to say something before I end the love? Amen. Amen. God bless you this morning.